What's up? I'm two-time Olympian and world champion speed skater Joey Mantia here with Burn, bringing you a 20-minute speed skating core and conditioning class. This is going to be a lot of core on the ground, off the board, and then everything we do on the board is going to be speed skating specific, pretty much the same exact motions that I use on my board at home that make me a good speed skater. So you can follow right along and feel like you're part of the crew, part of the Team USA as we get right into this. We're going to throw the booties on and then we'll get right into the workout. And before we start, I want to talk a little bit about hip position of a speed skater. Now, this is a little bit counterintuitive to what most positions are for everyday human life. We're taught to be tall humans and have good posture like this and be upright. But for skating, you want to have a little bit of a hunch to your back and you want to be able to relax the hips and roll them under. And the reason for that is if you have your hips strong or pushed out the back as you're standing tall, your knee gets stuck about right here. You can't lift any higher than that. The idea is that as you roll your hips and you hunch over a little bit, you get all this extra extension and ability to move your leg so you're not working against your body at all. So as you're going through this, if you'd like, you can try working on that position of just rounding the hips under and being more like a speed skater to get those easier positions. And you're going to have to do it if we get really low on the board towards the end of this workout. So if it's not comfortable, you can stay in the mid-range of the height as we go through these. But if you want to challenge yourself, feel free to join me and get those hips under and we'll really push it down towards the end of this workout. So as we get right into this, we're going to start with just a two-minute slide. We're going to go quarter knee bend, hands on the back, and we're going to go a little bit deeper than quarter, and going for it. Here we go, two minutes. We're going to try to get a little bit faster every 30 seconds, so starting off nice and slow and control here. And in a skating position, we're looking for control of the foot direction, both feet straight. We're looking for control of the shoulders, so we're not twisting the body into the push like this or twisting in like this, keeping everything straight and quiet. We're 30 seconds in. Let's go a little faster. Just a little more speed here. And really, you're just trying to fall in a controlled way to the board. Boom, just falling, boom. Let it, let it all happen. And if you want a little more explanation of perfect speed skating technique, you can watch my 10-minute video on the development of the push, and that will give you a little more idea of what you should be working on as we go through this. Now, on that video, we work very low in a sprinter position. So you just would do the same things, but bring it up a little bit higher as we work one minute to go. Still in that mid-height speed skating sliding position. We're going to go a little bit quicker with our tempo here. Okay, Keeping the feet straight. This is just a little warm up as we get into the workout. Next step is going to be to hop off the board and go right into a Russian twist. All the core stuff, you should be able to keep your booties on and keep it nice and convenient so you don't got to keep popping those things off. Last 30 seconds, let's pick this pace up just a little bit. Feet straight. Okay. Still in that medium high position. Not too low, not too high. Feet are staying straight. Body position is good, nice and controlled here. 15 seconds to go. Then you're going to hop behind your board and you're going to sit on your butt and get ready for a Russian twist, which will be coming up next. I'll explain what that is as we get on the floor. And three, two, one. Let's go ahead and take a seat. We're going to go 30 seconds of Russian twist. And all you do is basically sit in this position, control your knees, control your feet, and just back and forth with your hands. We're going to start in three, two, one. And we're doing Russian twists. 30 seconds here. The idea is that we get a full body workout, work in the core. And the legs all the way through the workout. I'm going to go 20 more seconds. I might have lied on the time there. Forgive me if I did. But we're going to go. Keep feeling it. Stay in that nice position. Pull that belly button into the spine. Keep that core engaged. Five more seconds. We're going to go into a push-up position next. Three, two, one. Flip over. Now your booties might slide around. Challenge yourself to keep your feet nice and strong. If this is too much for you, you can go to your knees. You can do push-ups on the knees. That's fine. Whatever you're comfortable with. If you have to modify for the upper body stuff, that's totally acceptable. 
I'm going to try to do them all the way through. We've got 30 seconds of push-ups, 8 seconds to go. Almost there. And we're going to get up and do baby hops in 3, 2, 1 on our feet. Be careful that you're not sliding around. Your feet just stay planted underneath you. And just hop in a small position, like you're in a speed skating position. If you want, you can put the arm swing with it. Whatever feels more comfortable. I like to keep my hands in front of me for balance. And you're just trying to hold the same position and build some lactic acid in the legs as we move on and get back on our slide board with a high slide or a tall slide in three, two, one. Okay, we have one minute on the board here. We're going to go with just a quarter bend in the knees and speed skating slide. If you want to swing your arms, you can. I'm going to keep them on my back because I'm starting to get tired already. Don't tell anybody. All right, feet straight, nice and slow and controlled. Just working on that technique, trying to use the glute to push, not so much the quads. Thirty more seconds. Whatever pace is comfortable for you. This first half of the workout on the board isn't so challenging, but it will get more challenging as we go on. This is just to get your bearings. Make sure you're working on that good technique. Everything's straight. Core engaged, not twisting, not tilting the hips, keeping everything nice and quiet. In five seconds, we're going to hop off the board and do single leg up downs. Three, two, one. Just going to put one foot up like this. We're going to come straight down and straight up three times. Straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. And we're going to go down and switch here, switch to the side. And up, down, up, down. We're going to go one minute of these. Up, down, and switch. Feet stay straight, hips straight. Halfway home, 30 seconds to go. Nice and controlled. Switch. Go at your own pace. You don't have to keep up with me. Fifteen seconds to go, come down, switch again. Try to keep that body weight right in the middle of the foot. After this, we're going to get back on the board. In five, four, three, two, and one on the board. We're going to do a mid-range slide, so we're going to go quarter knee bend and a little bit deeper. And we're going to go for two minutes. Go at your own pace. If you want to do a build, getting a little bit faster every time. You can. This is two minutes. And the idea here is not to come up and down as you slide, and up and down. That you hold this quarter or this mid, slightly deeper than quarter, this mid-range position back and forth across the board. Building that lactic acid and really just isolating the muscle groups that you're trying to work. You want to work your glutes? Only use your glutes. If you want to work your quads? Only use your quads. For speed skating, we want to just use the glutes. We want to try to turn off these big muscles in the front and let them just stabilize us and hold our position as we're driving through the butt, through the glute, and extending from here. Boom. Extend from here. Isolate that. See if you can feel that. See if you can put yourself in that position to turn this off and just push back here. And you'll feel how much easier it is to get across this board versus opening this up and opening this up. But you're just staying nice and quiet and controlled. 45 seconds to go. Then we're going to go into some abs off the board, bear taps. 30 seconds to go. Let's challenge ourselves. Let's go a little faster here. Feet stay straight. Maybe a little bit deeper, too. Okay? Feel that burn. Embrace it. Almost eight minutes in. So coming up on 12 minutes to go in the workout, looking good, feeling good. Feel, that, feel the burn in the glutes here. Coming up on seven, we're going to hop off with our chest down, almost in a plank position. In three, two, one, off the board again. Okay, We're going to get into this bear position. Again, if you're sliding around, try to challenge yourself to hold that. We've got 30 seconds here. Fifteen to go. Try to 
Keep that belly button pulled into your back, keeping that core engaged, not twisting around, letting anything move, nice and strong. Into a plank, pulling the hips down to the floor. This is where you really have to challenge yourself to not let your feet slip around. Those booties are going to be slick on almost any surface. Keep that core strong, and just pull that belly button into your spine. 15 seconds to go. Don't let those feet slide around on you. After this, we're back on the board for some intervals in three, two, and one. Back on your board. All right, now the fun part. Here we go. 30 seconds high, 30 seconds low, four times. So we're in that quarter knee bend. And when I say low, I want you to really push it down. Think about sitting in a chair and holding that chair sit position as you're working on the board. Okay, in 10 seconds, we're going to come down. Three, two, we're going to drop the arms. Super deep here, boom, there we go, 30 seconds. Make it hurt. Keep all the rules the same. Feet stay straight, hips stay flat, trying to use that glute, trying to use that fall. Notice I'm not pushing very hard. All of, everything in this workout is based on an isometric hold with a little bit of dynamic movement. 10 more seconds, feet straight, everything flat, you're just hovering back and forth in that sitting position. And come up, nice and high, so quarter knee bend here. Just because we're high doesn't mean we're going back to bad habits, not twisting, not doing this, everything stays straight. 30 seconds here at this high position, about 15 more seconds to go. Then we're going right back down into the low position. 10. In five, three, two, one, drop the hands, press it. Okay? You can see from the side, notice I'm not sitting back on my heels like this and doing this. This is way too much on the heels. I want to bring my belly button right over the middle of my foot and be right in the middle of my foot. And what it feels like when you do this right is that you could jump to the side of the board as hard as you wanted to, you just don't. That's the part of skating. That's the magic of skating, is that you put yourself in a position to jump hard, and then you don't. You just control that position. Come back up nice and high. Two more sets. Quarter knee bend. Should be sweating pretty good by now. Legs should be burning, and this is the chance to rest. So just work on that technique. Keep that pushing foot as straight as you can. Try not to fan it open like this, or fan it open like this. Keep it nice and straight. You can think about it. Coming up on three, two, one, dropping down, nice and low, right over the middle of the foot. It's as if you can jump across the board, and then you don't. You just hold it and push through the glute, push through the butt, push through the butt. If you want to challenge yourself, if it's too easy, you can pick up the pace a little bit, but don't reach for the board. Let the board come to you. If you go faster and you start reaching out like this, that's bad. You don't want to do that. So... You only go as fast as you can by keeping perfect technique. In three, two, one, come up, quarter knee bend, hands on the back. And we're in our last set here. We're going to go back to a Russian twist. Give the legs a little bit of a rest. And then we'll finish up with some 15 mid-low combinations. So very similar to what we're doing now, but there's no high sliding. It's only middle, mid range and low. Coming down, drop the arms. Really push this down. Come on. Exaggerate that knee, knee bend. Keep those knees forward, out over the toes, so that you can get your body weight right in the middle of your foot. Whoop, sometimes that happens. That's OK. Strong as you can keep it, nice and low. Coming up on five to go. Keep it strong. Three, two, one. We're going to go on our butt. Russian twist. Okay. Hey, and go for it. 35 more seconds of this. When you're tired, this is really important 
Keep that belly button pulled into your spine. Keep that core engaged. Keep breathing. Try not to hold your breath as you're doing core. Be functional while you're making these movements. It's supposed to hurt. That's why we're working out. Embrace that burn. It's going to make you better. Ten seconds to go. We're going to go to heel taps next. For 45 seconds. And going now. I'm going to push back down and heel tap. Keep the small of your back pushed into the floor. Thirty more seconds. We're going to get up and do baby hops next, and then we're going to finish off with some intervals. Coming up on 15. Engage that core, belly button into the spine, lower back on the floor. Ten seconds. Come on, push through. Up on our feet in three, two, one. Right into baby hops now. Setting that skating position. And boom, let's create some lactic acid before we get into the intervals. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one on the board. We're going to do 15 seconds of mid, 15 seconds low, five minutes to close it out. Here we go. That mid range is basically a quarter knee bend and then drop it down a little bit lower. Five more seconds of that. We're going to drop the arms super low. Here we go. Boom. Perfect technique here. Boom. Look at the position. Look how deep the knee bend is, but I'm still in control. Five more seconds. Boom. I'm not even pushing hard, but everything hurts. And back up. Mid-range. So quarter knee bend, a little bit lower. Right there. This is our rest, if you can call it that. Keep it strong. Keep the technique. 15 seconds to go. We're going to give a little bit more rest on this one before we get in to the final four minutes. And down. Boom. Now we're going 15-15. Push that position nice and low. Exaggerate it and up. We're going to rest 15. This time I mean it. Last time I didn't mean it. <laughs> All right, eight seconds to go in this rest. If it hurts, great. That's what it's supposed to do. And down. Boom. Exaggerate. Boom. 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 Feel that burn. If this is too heavy, switch back and forth between a high and a low, or a high and a medium. And rest. Back to that middle ground. That quarter plus a little bit when it comes to your squat position. Everything stays nice and square and straight. Not pushing too hard. Coming down in three, two, one. Three minutes to go. Looking good. Feel it. This is speed skating. When everything in your body burns, everything's tingling, and you can't feel anything but your face, and sometimes not even that, and coming up to rest. Keep breathing. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Breathe under, under your ribs. Don't let your shoulders come up as you breathe. Everything stays nice and relaxed. And coming down, boom. Push it down. Push it down. Exaggerate that position. Coming up on two minutes to go. Come on. Exaggerate. Boom. Right over the middle of the foot. 15 of rest. We're two minutes to go. Last four laps of the, lap of, the, of the race for me. And down. Boom. Boom. And exaggerate that position. Exaggerate. Don't over push. The push comes from back here. Boom, right there. You're exaggerating the position, not the aggression of the push. And rest. 
in that medium position. This is our rest. We're not stopping. Sorry if that was confusing. Sorry to give you false hopes. We have 90 more seconds of work. Then we're done. Then we can rest. Okay? And coming down in three, two, one. Boom. Exaggerate the position. Bring it home. Come on. Just a few more reps. Boom. Feel that burn. The quads, the glutes, everything on fire right now. Boom. And back to that mid position. This is it. This is why you bought a slide board, right? All right? All right. And coming up about one minute to go. Almost there. Coming down in three, two, one. Exaggerate it. Press it down. Boom. After this, you get to relax. Go about your day. Feel good about yourself that you accomplished a speed skating workout. Coming back up in two, one. One more set. That's it. Keep the technique. Keep moving. Don't let your body stop. You got this. Push through in three, two. Last rep. Down. Exaggerate it. Not hard pushes, just really being stubborn about your position. Coming down right over the top of your foot. Like you're curling on top and going to jump away. Three, two, one. High slide. Last 15 seconds. Let that lactic acid start flushing. Oh, yeah. Good work. I'm hurting, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a really nice workout. I appreciate you guys joining me. That's going to do it. 20 minutes right there. Thank you. Thanks to Burn for letting me be a part of the family. So pumped to be here in New York in the Burn Studios. I'll catch you next time.